All right, hello again. So now that you have watched that video giving a little bit of detail about the different potential project options and what type of analysis would be involved with each of those, what you'll do now is choose which project you actually want to do and sign up for it. So there's a link after this video to a Google spreadsheet where you can sign up just like the signups we use for our individual proposal meetings, same kind of thing, but now you'll be signing up for a group project option. A couple things to note, there are seven options that I put together, but we'll only be doing five of them. So I, five, the microphone's in the way. Um, I know I try to give us extra options so you have some flexibility. Again, I try to give you as many options and flexibility as possible to accommodate different interests, but we only have 19 students in the class, so we will only be actually doing five of the seven projects, so we won't be doing all of them. So if it turns out that it's only one person that signs up for one particular project, I will probably have to ask you if you'd be okay switching so you have other group members to work with. So just as a caveat, another thing to note is each project currently has slots for four different students to work on it. So in the past, when I've done these group projects, I found that four people is really the maximum workable number of people where you can work together on a project and each person is still getting a valuable experience where they're still doing different parts of the project. We don't want too many cooks in the kitchen, as the phrase goes. And, however, if you really, really want to work on a project and there are already four people signed up, you can let me know and I'll see if there's anything we can do. But in general, these will be first come, first serve for sign up. So just know that. You can sign up to work on a project with other members of your group. If you want to stay with the group that you have been, that I assigned you at the very beginning of the semester, and you want to keep working with that same group, you can all sign up for the same project together. That's totally fine. Or if you find that you really want to work on this one project and the rest of your group doesn't want to, you can sign up on your own. So that's fine too. So I think that's the main thing. This isn't super complicated. The main thing we're doing here is just signing up for a project option. So go ahead, find that link and let me know if you have any questions or are there any problems.